Hey guys, how's it going? It's Trax here, and we're back with more Dragon Ball Z News 2 news. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry that the, um, this video is a little late. Um, I've been busy this week there with, uh, with school, so, yeah, I didn't have time to make, uh, any videos on all the news that were revealed on Dragon Ball Z 2. But, yeah, let's get right into, uh, <laughs> the news right here. So, um, there's a, a manga, like a Dragon Ball Z 2 manga that is included with the collector's edition, uh, right here. It's basically the Time Patrol's Guide, and it's basically like a little manga telling you like, you know, stuff you need to know about Dragon Ball Z Universe 2, and also like some little story in there, I guess. So basically, yeah, it's, it's just like a, a guide that teaches you uh, how to play the game, and like, stuff about the game, as well as, you know, maybe like a little storyline to, um, to the game as well. But, yeah, uh, I'm not ready for this one. <laughs> um, let's see. Right here, um... This here is like the important stuff. They see if you pre-order the game from like digitally from PlayStation Store beginning on October 7th. Not beginning of October 7th, but uh, anytime before October 7th, then you get a little code and basically you enter that in the PlayStation Store and you can download the closed beta and then the servers will all be open on October 8th and you get to play around, you know, just do stuff on it for like two days and then after that the closed beta will be closed. <laughs> And uh, this is only um, exclusive to the digital version, and it's only exclusive to the PlayStation 4. So if you've got uh, pre-order the game digitally on Xbox One or uh, Steam, then you won't be able to participate in the closed beta, unfortunately. I uh, pre-ordered the game like physically, so <laughs> I won't be able to participate in uh, this closed beta, but yeah, at least we uh, we have the open beta too. <laughs> um, on October 4th, 2016, uh, to October 16th, uh, 2016, <laughs> basically, um, from, from October 16th, uh, there'll be open beta where anyone who, anyone basically from, uh, who has a PlayStation 4 can uh, participate in, in the beta, and just, you see the same thing as the closed beta, except that now it's like open to everybody. It's only exclusive to PlayStation 4 players. Same thing with the, the closed beta, Xbox One players, all Steam players will not be able to participate in the betas. So, <laughs> yeah, that kind of stinks, but yeah. <laughs> I can't really do anything about that. Uh, I guess it's basically like a Japan thing where in Japan, um, Xbox Ones are, aren't really that popular, so that's why they're more, mainly focused on uh, PlayStation 4s. So, yeah, basically, if you appear the game digitally, there'll be a closed beta this weekend around uh it'll be open around like 4 a.m uh, eastern standard time 1 p.m 1 a.m uh pacific time and it'll be closed uh on october 10th 1 a.m pacific time and 1 4 p.m uh eastern standard time and it's only uh, um exclusive to the people who order it digitally on the ps4 and yeah it'll be open beta from october 14th to october 16th um which is open to everybody but it's only exclusive to playstation 4 players <laughs> I'm a little tired, so that's why <laughs> I had to recap that again, just to make sure that you guys uh, understand what I said. Alright, so... Oh yeah, there's also a um, little opening intro to the game as well, but I won't be watching it. <laughs> so if you guys want to watch it for yourself, um, I'll leave a link to this website in the description below, in case you guys want to check it out yourself. And yeah. Uh, let's see. Well, here's an interesting thing. Apparently in uh, Dragon Ball Z Universe 2, there will still be like um, the equipment with the uh, stats, except um, there will be these things called uh, QQ bangs, where it allows you like to change the the stats on the uh, on the items, like your equipment. So basically, uh, yeah, what you have to do is uh, you go to capsule court, and uh, there will be this robot there, and basically you combine a bunch of like materials and stuff to create this QQ bang, which then you can use to alter your um, equipment stats, I believe. I'm not too sure about this, like, even right now I still, like, don't understand it fully. Like, once I, uh, play the game, like, uh, during the open beta, I might, like, you know, be able to find out what it's, like, how it really works, but basically I believe that you can create these things called Kiku Bangs, where you just change the equipment on, like, the stats and the equipment. So that's kind of cool. I remember during Xenoverse 1, uh, I was only limited to, a certain amount of, uh, equipment, because, uh, you know my build. Like, I had to support my build with the equipment I wear. So, <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I didn't like how uh, we had to. We were restricted to certain um, items. Like everybody wore the same things. So yeah, I'm glad they uh, added this. So you don't have to like, you know, wear the same thing. And this is uh, also um, a little tutorial in 
the universe too, where they're basically be uh, talk, talking about how um, you can counter the brainwash attacks and the gigantic key blasts, like from the powerful bosses that you face during the expert missions with like five other people. So yeah, if you guys want to check out this this little uh, tutorial, then I'll leave it in the description below. And yeah, uh, let's see. Um, there's also a uh, called a back cover. Uh, that was revealed uh, for Xenoverse 2. Uh, this, is, this is how it looks like in the back. Like this is the front right here, and this is how the back looks like. There's, like nothing uh, new that was revealed in the back, but yeah, it looks pretty cool. And apparently this thing is called a, a stick. <laughs> I feel like it's more like a log, but <laughs> I don't know, whatever. Or like a column or something. But yeah, apparently it's a stick. <laughs> And it basically just tells you what you get for like day one edition, and it costs like 12 gigabytes minimum. <laughs> so yep. Um, let's see. And this is uh, an interesting thing. Um, apparently, um, Bandai Namco they revealed some more new characters. Well, not new characters, but more characters in uh, Xenoverse 2. Um, there were 75 characters in uh, 75 characters in total that were revealed. And 76 we include uh, Goku Black, which is the DLC character, and 77 we include Meta Cooler. But yeah, I'll leave this video in the description below, and you can see all the characters that were revealed. But basically, it's all the characters that we know so far, like basically Ender 16, um, it's got Timebreaker Bardock, uh, the Doria, Zarbon, um, Meta uh, Cooler, uh, Turles, um Lord Slug and other people like that. So yeah, I don't think there's anyone new. Basically, um, they just talked about like returning characters, I believe. I don't think there's anyone too new. But yeah, I didn't really like check the entire video. Basically, the, um, there's 77 characters so far that have been revealed uh, out of like 87 or at least 87. Uh, there were 87 slots in the demo, so yeah, the, the, it should be about like maybe 87 characters. Uh, maybe like a little more, maybe a little, a little less. Uh, that's just an estimate so far. But uh, yeah, and also uh, more gameplay on uh, you know Majin Vegeta, Pan, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. You um, see on the races and you know all this other stuff. So if you guys want to check out those videos, I'll leave a link to this website in the description below. If you guys want to you know watch the video for yourself, basically. Um, Watch out for the open and closed beta that's coming out th this weekend. And when's the 14th? The 14th around like probably the weekend, like next weekend or something. So yeah, look out for those. Um, I think I'll be participating in the oh, uh, open beta. I don't know like how long I'll be playing it because uh, I, I don't know how much time I have during the weekend. But I'll try to make like a video on it, just like just exploring around the cities, like doing some stuff. So yeah, uh, look forward to that. <laughs> and yeah, it kind of stinks that um, Xbox players and Steam players will not be able to participate, but <laughs> I can't really do anything about that. I, f I kind of wish that you know everybody could participate, but yeah. But yeah, that's all it for this video. If you guys want to stay up to all Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 news, then be sure to hit like and subscribe button. And yeah, um, that's about it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later.